Welcome to the Dawson and Denise Show. I'm Denise. I'm Dawson. And we're here to celebrate, to give, to pay homage to the queen of talk show. The queen oh. of media, basically. Ba yeah, she, she run it. Yeah. We're saying goodbye and hello to a new edition for the Oprah Winfrey Show. The Oprah Winfrey Show is ending, but the own network, the Oprah Winfrey Network, has started. So I'm excited about that. But as we close out this week with the Oprah Winfrey Show ending, honestly, I haven't actually watched the Oprah Winfrey Show, a full show within, it has to be years. Mm -hmm. Honestly, in years. But the reason we did this and what prompted us to do this because when Oprah first started, it was so many things against her. Yes. And so many people tried to stop her from living out her dream. And she kept going and now she is. Now she owns oh, her own exactly. network. Exactly. And, and if you listen to people and you let people get in your head telling you what you cannot do because of how you look, because of your color, because of your, yeah. you know, your sexuality, you will block your own blessing and that is so true and a lot of people you know have would look at her and they they admire her and they aspire to be her but they don't know how she has this sense this very strong sense of self-knowingness knowing authentically who you are and I think that's what we all honor so much mm -hmm. about her is that when you find a person who knows authentically who they are they don't need your criticisms your accolade your opinions that's a person worth sticking sticking with and I think that's what she possesses and that she and tries yeah. to tell everybody that you've got to know authentically who you are not because of what someone says about you or thinks about you but the being the only dictionary that defines you you're the only yeah. dictionary that defines Cause you because people will come and crush your dreams try to steal them and everything else telling you you can't and all the while they telling you you can't they in the back trying to cook it up and make it better so. exactly and she never let the flat the fact that she was black that she was a woman, that she had some weight issues, uh -huh. stop her. Even though people, they brought that up and they tried to, you know, make, you know, fun of that. She still, you yeah. know, persisted, you know, and she was, you know, persistent about what she wanted to do and her goals. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, monumental. And one of the things I was thinking about is like when I was in high school, how I would do like a bunch of, you know, presentations. And I would always have the time when I would do video presentations. And the person that I would always get like little uh, segments from their show was, from was from the Oprah Winfrey show, whether if it was about race, mm -hmm. whether it was about health, politics, because she was the only person on TV, well, one of the a few people on TV that really talked, you know, from the heart mm -hmm. and really brought the people in to really talk about things that yeah. matter, which is why I like wanted to do, do our show. Exactly. Like we do. I to mean, talk we, about real we issues. We touch on things that a lot of people are afraid of and in the beginning we got all that little oh who you think you are and all this other stuff but um and you know I can't be me exactly and definitely i think that's why we do our show is because we want people to know that there are shows out there that can talk about celebrities and that's fine but i don't want to talk so much about celebrities in order to get my mind out off of my own issues mm -hmm. i want to know how i could better live how i could better eat how i could better help myself educate myself to lead the life that I want to be, lead. And I think what Oprah was, she was a master. And what okay. masters do is they teach other people's how to master their own lives. Instead of being on a slave mentality where you're slaving for everybody, trying to believe, be what everybody wants you to be, once you become a master of your own life and your own destiny, you teach other people how to master mm -hmm. their own lives and how to lead their own lives. And I think that's what I get from her. That's what and I've gotten from her through the years. And me too. And that was one of the things that I did in my It wasn't the money. It wasn't the fame. No. It was the ability to give back, to touch people in such a way that is just phenomenal and that's what exactly. I love about her. And great people empower people. Great people remind people or empower people mm -hmm. to let them know that they can be great too. And I think that's why so many people are paying homage to her because this wasn't a person that made you feel sorry for yourself. And there's so many people and so many organizations you can sit up in church sometimes or in a, in a mosque or a synagogue and people will make you feel sorry for yourself. But it takes a true person who know authentically who they are and who the creator is to tell you well, that you, you can, can take up exactly. your bed and walk. Mm -hmm. Your bed of affliction, your bed of low self-esteem, your bed of negativity, your bed of everything people said about you. I don't care. It's not about what they say about you. What do you say about yourself? You are the only dictionary that defines you. And what you think about, you bring about. If you don't like what's in your life, change your thoughts, change your life. And I'm that's speechless. That's my brother right there. You see, we got on our Superman shirt. Superman, because we come hey. with some real stuff. This is super. This is our 60th show. 60th show. Because if we listen to what people said, we would have did what? About one or two? I know about one or two. 